I think it's time for a little story. So the story I want to talk about started a little over three years ago. So me and my brother race ATV motocross. He's a pro and in 2015 he was moving up in the ranks and I was just getting into racing. We were over on the west side, southwest side of Pennsylvania at a place called High Point Raceway. At this point I was just out there just to see what I could do. And on my first race, it was a Saturday, I went out and on the first lap the track was wet. And I went off this little this little drop off and the bike kicked sideways. And then when it landed it bounced the other way. And I went over the bars, but when I was going over the bars I took the handlebars into the stomach. And I actually have that clip, I'll show it right here. I took the handlebar to the stomach right before I fell off and it wasn't a hard rack at all. As you can see, I jumped right back up, I got back on the bike, I finished the race, I didn't even get last, I actually passed a couple people. Like half an hour to an hour after the race, I just, it felt like I had a stomach ache and I wasn't sure what it was. I just thought my abs were sore, so I didn't think anything of it. And I was just waiting for it to go away. And then I just got this insane pain for like five minutes. Then it went away. And we, me and my brother and my dad, we went and talked to the EMTs and they said, I definitely need to go to the hospital just in case something happened. And I didn't want to go to the hospital. I was focusing on the money that my dad would have to pay by going and just the added stress. So I didn't want to go. So I went, I laid down in our trailer for a little bit. And about an hour or two hours later, it just happened again, and it was even worse this time. It got to the point where my dad said my face started changing colors, so we went. We're in the backseat of a truck over these crazy bumpy roads with frozen sausage in my pants, and it was just melting away. I smelled like sausage. It was rough. It was terrible. So we got to the hospital. I crawled out slowly, slowly put my shirt on. We get in. They take me back to a CT scan on me and they instantly put me to sleep. Long story short, I woke up 10 days later. I was put through five different surgeries where they went in, did a resection of my intestine. They took out about two foot of my intestine and they told me I had Crohn's disease. And that wasn't even the worst part. I was supposed to get out of the hospital within a week from waking up and then I got an infection and it drained me from one, 130 pounds down to I think 90 pounds. I lost 40 pounds in a week and I was just dead. And it was to the point where the hospital didn't even know what to do. We called the insurance company and we made them transfer me to Hershey Medical Center. It's a lot closer to my house and it's a lot better of a hospital. And we got there and the hospital room was so nice. They had a huge TV, they had a huge bathroom. I loved it, they had free McDonald's, they had a dog that came and visited me. And then they sent me home. I think I was there for two, three days. They sent me home and I was kind of upset about it. Wasn't upset about going home, I was upset that we were only in that hospital for three days and we were in this other crappy hospital, this other outdated hospital for a month and a half. And after I got out, it took me a while to get back on my feet. It took me a while to be able to digest food again, to be able to eat again, to be able to walk again. And I slowly started going to the gym. And then I went to a Tony Robbins seminar, Unleash the Power Within. When I was going to this event, I was in that state where just I was helpless. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't change my life. After this event, I left just completely rejuvenated. I went home, I remember, I don't remember the exact amount of days, but I went to the gym for over six months straight. I got back to my original weight. I was a lot stronger than I've ever been. I started running again. I could run 10 miles. I was on a strict diet. I was killing it. I was doing better than I ever had before. And then I went to college. But I'm gonna save that for part two. I'm impressed. Boosted is ripping up this hill. This is a steep hill. I'm flying up it. My friend Devin hit me up. I'm going to his house to swim for a little bit.
boosted. I love calling this thing the boosted instead of the boosted board. It just sounds cool. Is that majestic or what? I'm ripping up a hill right now. Like this is a steep hill. I don't think you can see. I don't think you can tell how steep it actually is from the camera. But it's steep. Like I wouldn't want to run up this. And I'm I'm cooking. Alright guys, but that's gonna be the end of this vlog. See you guys tomorrow. Make sure you like, comment, share, just do whatever you gotta do. Have a nice night. Wait, no, no, no. You guys watch this in the morning. Go out, just go out and get today, alright? Go get it!